Oh, he goes down swinging. That is the fourth strikeout tonight by Giolito. He's on top of his game. He's retired nine in a row. That's another one, two, three inning for Giolito. Giolito on fire this afternoon here in Hagerstown. He has retired the last 12 hitters he's faced. Best start of the year for the young Nationals phenom. Uh, I obviously took a different path. The opportunity I was given out of high school, I couldn't pass up. So, you know, I've taken that path and I'm very happy with it so far. Being able to play baseball every day is, there's nothing better, especially if you're doing it for a living. Lucas came off, got to us in 2012 and immediately had Tommy Johnson. And him being as young as he is, there, there's, not a, there's not a reason to rush, rush a kid up to the big leagues like that. Uh, you want him to develop the, the, the skills needed to, when he, so when he gets to the big leagues, he can stay there. It's a humbling experience for everybody, to, you know, just to be able to, to I love the ground level up, to, to learn to be able to, you know, to earn your way up, blue, blue collared up, and that's just how he does things. No matter whatever type of money he has or anybody has, you know, he's learning to be a good teammate. He's learning at the lowest level. This is, this is my host family's house. This is our living area. This is where my buddy sleeps. He sleeps on a futon over here. It's a little, it's a little weird, but I'm kind of used to it. That's Spencer. He's, he's, Spencer. he's my catcher and and uh, roommate. <laughs> Draft. We were drafted in the same class, um, and then we became really good friends last year when we were both rehabbing Tommy John at the same time. We lived in the same hotel room, oh, in God. the same hotel room in the La Quinta Inn in Vieira, Florida, which is just oh terrible you can laugh it's funny yeah it is the stuff we did to like be able to find fun we like completely like remodeled our hotel room we like set up i started uh, reading books <laughs> stayed with a couple host families and um i've been really fortunate to have all good ones so yeah. and i've always kept in touch with all of them <sighs> Jeez. So you're going to feel now? Yeah, I'm going to feel now. Yeah, and then I go home in the off season and I live in the basement again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your name? Oh, Spencer. Yeah, I live at home with my parents. <laughs> <Four three. laughs> I hey, swear man. I have ambition. Oh, I'm trying to host mom. Hi, Lisa. Now you do all the right things, okay? <laughs> all right. I wouldn't mind staying here for a long period of time because we're winning and having fun. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a huge rush to uh, get to the big leagues this year or anything like that. You know, I'm just trying to get better and get more experience because I don't have much experience professionally. I, I can't sit and like hope and wish that they'll move me up because that, that doesn't do you any good. Today is the day after I pitch, so I have to be, when we shag fly balls during BP, I have to be uh, the bucket guy, which sucks. You know, it's not, we're not like a big, we don't have like a huge ownership group, ownership group here in Hagerstown. I don't think, you know, it's like a big giant money maker or anything like that. It's pretty kind of homely and chill. Can't expect to get calls when we're here, 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 and then we dot one. Counter to that, Lucas. Strike after strike after strike. He got some pitches just because the umpire fell asleep and we were going, yeah, that's a strike. Yeah, that's a strike. So we got a couple off the plate. Command that baseball and you will get it. I promise you. Four. Oh. Ah! Is that out? Yeah. 
I mean, this is a team atmosphere, but yet there's a bunch of individuals trying to get to the big leagues. I was with the Kansas City Royals for about nine years, and I've seen it up and down. I've seen guys go totally different. We had a kid named Colt Griffith who was a high pick, threw 100 miles per hour to high school. And a great kid, he just didn't stay focused and, and really didn't click at the minor league level to get himself a chance. And we gave him a lot of chances. You know what happens with some guys? With Lucas, he's got a, a high ceiling, obviously, and, and his makeup is, is allowing him to be able to move, and he's going to get a chance and an opportunity to move up. He's very good. You know, I've, I've caught a lot of people. I've caught bullpens and live games for guys who are doing rehab starts that are in the big leagues. Geo over time with you know mature in the sense of you know who he is and everything like that. He's you know he's he's gonna be a special player. It becomes more mental than anything and be able to repeat and be able to be consistent. His stuff is ridiculous. It really is. His breaking balls are plus breaking balls, fastballs. He's 93 to 100. I mean when he say 100, he's Last year I had him in the Gulf Coast where he started out coming back from his surgery and he was just abusing people and it was fun to see. Like he did last night, he was pretty good. So, and he's developed a changeup too. So there's three quality big league pitches that will we'll play in the big leagues. And that's strikeout number seven. That was 96 miles per hour from Giolito. Retired the last 15 hitters he's faced. Six innings pitched, gave up just one hit, no runs allowed, struck out. Seven, walk just one. Now, when I'm dominating guys, you feel completely in control. You get on the mound and you know what pitch you're gonna throw and you know it's gonna go to that spot. As a pitcher, you don't, you don't feel it that often. More often than not, you go out there with not your best stuff. Maybe like five starts a year, you go out there with your dominant stuff. Five starts a year, you go out there with nothing. And then all the other starts in between are, you know, oh, you have this pitch working, that pitch working, this one's not working so much. It's, it's about finding a way to dominate even when you're, you don't have everything going for you.